hi guys welcome back to my channel I wanted to come today and show you a little bit more about my water marble stamping um, my water marble stamping video has um, blown up and I'm so excited I wanted to come back and show you a little bit of a variation on that design today I'm gonna be creating a, a kind of a simple three color great uh, three cutter color water marble today and then showing you how I place that on my on my nail directly rather than on my mat so I'm gonna start out with with three different colors by sinful colors then I have two blues and a purple and I'm just gonna pick my couple of colors and start by alternating like usual come on drip if you know anything about my water marbles you'll know I like to use kind of thinner polishes and these I believe they're the sinful colors all of these create absolutely beautiful marbles because they're also kind of sheer I'm just gonna keep dripping until we get a nice desired amount of polish on our water you can't see this on the camera but hopefully after I stamp it, you'll be able to see how absolutely beautiful and shimmery these two lighter colors are I used a dark blue uh, is a cream polish. Let's see, let's do a couple more in here. With water marble, you kind of got to take your time in some ways because you have to make sure the colors are going to spread out evenly. I think this is going to be our last. Nope, we're going to put one more. The color spreads out and you can get a really nice band. Then I would always say to keep going. Come on now. All right, so I am going to end with that. Gently push my polish to the side. I'm going to take my little dotting tool, and I'm going to create kind of like a swirl design, but I'm going to start from the middle and gently pull to the side. Again, I stopped when I got to the tacky-ish outer edge. Now, since that was closer to the glass, I pulled up on the side, so it kind of anchors it a little bit. I'm not going to start at these outer rings. I'm going to start at the inner few rings that I know are tacky. And you'll be able to tell. Let's anchor that a little bit more. If you start pulling your polish around, then you're going to be at least need to be at least a little bit more gentle or grab that outer ring and anchor it to your cup. There we go. That gave us a much more stable water marble. Now I'm going to start by twirling a little it's a really beautiful design but I want something a little tighter so let's start on this outer ring and pull a little now you see these rings here I don't know if you caught that it was gonna pull I didn't continue to pull I stopped pulled back a little bit and pulled up and twisted my color a little you don't want to over drag your polishes all right, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cleaned gel, pre-cleaned jelly stamper, find my desired spot, which I think is right around the outside over here. I like this, guys. I don't know. Let's uh, let's go over here actually, and push it down into the polish. Let's take off all my excess polish. Twirl under the water a little bit kind of pulling all that polish away and gently lifting out. All right, let's get things cleaned up and show you what I've done on the top of this. What a beautiful, pretty marble. Now again, in my last video, I'm gonna blow this off a little bit. Now, <laughs> this is gonna be fun because you're gonna see all my glitter fly. <sighs> all right, so now I'm gonna come in with my dotting tool again and I'm going to break the edges away from this marble. Gently twirl and pull. You're going to want to do this right after you take it off the water because if it dries too much, it won't stay nice. I'm going to set this right here for just a couple of seconds and I have pre latex to the two middle fingers. And I'm going to come in with a very quick dry top coat and cover this. Actually, I'm going to do this middle nail here in a nice top coat. I have some holographic glitter polish 
uh, glitter <laughs> designs on this, but it's all right. It won't make a difference under this beautiful water marble. Now, I'm going to kind of touch the sides a little bit with my fingernail, and it's definitely firm. So I'm going to give a couple more seconds for this. And I'm going to roll and press on my water marble, but I'm not going to take it right up. I'm going to roll and rock around to make sure it kind of hears, adheres and grabs onto that polish. Okay, so test your polish. Eh, it's still a little damp. Let's give it here a little, uh, little blow. All right. Okay, so you want the polish to be tacky. I'm going to take this water marble and pick kind of like my favorite design and I'm going to start right in the middle and press just like you would a stamper kind of rolling around pressing to the sides rocking back and forth and I pressed it right onto my nail now what I'm going to do with a brush and some acetone really quick before anything has a chance to set I'm going to run this right along the outer edge of my cuticle to kind of break up the water marble a little. Get a little bit more on here. Kind of melting that polish a little off. I'm going to take off my liquid peel and come with a little bit more acetone and clean up around my cuticle edges. I always have a paper towel here beside me to kind of blot my brush on so I don't leave any polish around. Now I'm going to come in really gently and cover this with a quick dry top coat. Make sure you wrap the tip and show you how beautiful our design turned out. This is so pretty and as you see this took me just a quite a small amount of time. Uh, I have managed to get two stampers in the water before and if you do use a big stamper um, you can get two designs because if you have like I said the wet polish you see how the outer edge is kind of preserved if you have smaller fingers or have a really big stamper you can get two of this in once thanks so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it if you have any more questions or suggestions um, I would absolutely love to make a video for you <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. Check out my full finished manicures on Instagram and Facebook, Nailwitch87. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. I know you're staring at my hollow.